Warning, the content of the video that you are about to watch pertains to the harvest of fur-bearing wildlife through the practice of ethical, sound wildlife management of modern-day trapping. If this bothers you, if it triggers you in any way, shape, or form, please leave this channel now. Hey trappers, Dale Billingsley here, Billingsley Brand Lures. Guys, I'm sorry, but the season of suck is back. We had a couple days there, a little reprieve from it, but you can see the gnats flying around, and it's 89 degrees out here, and this sucks. But anyway, what I what what I want to talk to y'all about today, uh, we did a video yesterday about how much lure to use at a set. Well, then I had a comment and a question about what to do with leftovers, what you do with your leftovers from season to season. So, so I can only speak for my products, okay, guys? I can't talk about anybody else's stuff because I don't know. But if you're, if you're using my stuff, you don't have to do a thing to it, okay? You can, I literally, and there are several people you can ask if you need references. I literally store my leftovers on the dash of my truck all year long. Next year, I will, or this, this coming season, I will use them, okay? I can't speak for other lure makers as far as how much they make up ahead of time as far as batches are concerned. I try to make up a pretty good batch of everything as I go. And that way, it's, you know, all I have to do is bottle it that way. And it's going through the aging process and done everything that it needs to do. Okay, so if I make up a batch of, I don't know, let's just say Longliners Pal this year and I don't sell it all, or I don't use it all. I'm still gonna bottle what's left over and sell it again next year, and it's just fine. It is gonna be just fine. Now, I, a lot of that comes down to what fixatives I use, what preservatives I use, my antifreeze methods, that all comes into play as to whether that lure holds or whether it doesn't, okay? And that's, you know, that's a whole ball of wax that as a trapper, you don't want to really delve off into, but yet again, you do because you want to make sure that what you're buying is quality stuff and it's going to hold up and it's going to be there when you get ready to use it. Um, so anyway, I know this is kind of a short little deal, but there's really not a whole lot to tell, okay? Just know that if it's good quality stuff in the beginning, it should hold for you, okay? Okay. Um, now, there are several ways that you can store it if you choose to. Um, a lot of guys store it in an old refrigerator. A lot of guys store it in an ammo can. You know, some guys, you know, put it in a, uh, all those plastic marine boxes. And, and even, I know a couple of guys that even bury them in the ground, you know, just to keep it out of direct sunlight and keep it held there. And that's, all those are fine, you know. Um, as far as freezing lures... Guys, if, if you've got a lure maker that's telling you you need to put your leftovers in the freezer, there's probably a problem there somewhere. Um, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. I just don't think that it's necessary, or it shouldn't be necessary, I guess, the way to put it. Um, so there are, you know, some guys store them in an old cooler, you know, stuffed over in the corner somewhere. Uh, you know, if you, if you can, keep them out of direct sunlight as much as you can. Like I said, my stuff I don't worry about. Um, but again, I can only speak for my stuff. I can't talk about anybody else's. So anyway, I know this short little deal, not a whole lot to tell you other than, you know, what I just did. So anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. If you would, please just hit that thumbs up for me. That's all I'm asking. Once again, this is Dale Billingsley with another one. Signing out.